Good morning, folks. Days are still getting shorter as Earth's rotation speed up continues. We've got eye candy, climate, and a bit of catastrophism today, but we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours were very quiet. The coronal holes are turning through. Plasma filaments in active regions release no considerable CMEs. Lots of minor motions, though. Solar wind is calm as well as geomagnetic conditions, and we're jumping over to our blot echo wind map at quakewatch.net. I mention this because all focus is on the western ring of fire and on Greece and even Africa with a legitimate uptick in foreshocks this week. But also, blood echoes and building low cells have my eyes on Central America as well. Climate report for the month of February is out and as always, we are first showing you the graphic they spread all over the internet, the preposterous percentiles map, where you don't get numerical values and you just have to trust that they got it right which it never appears they do when it comes to the departure from average maps, where you can always see that they've whited out vastly blue areas, even some tinted red. And it's clear the cold won February by a long way. Just don't tell Greta. Up next is a cool animation out of the Goddard SVS on a binary system dancing in a ring. The U monocerotus binary here doesn't have a wildly elliptical motion and is indeed content to keep their distance in the arena. Up next, we're heading out to NGC 6397. This type of star cluster has been recently pegged in the journals as being a safe house for stellar mass black holes. Well, go math, proving here that is not possible. On to the key items today. First, as we've said and shown in the literature, and as is confirmed here, there is no way to expand the drying of the world beyond grand solar maximum conditions combined with a strong geomagnetic field. That's what we've had for the last century and millennium, respectively, both disappearing quickly now, and the vapor processes won't allow anything but a swing back the other direction, in the geomagnetic paradigm and the climate chemistry one. Folks, it's getting to where we can't just update this once a month. Earth's rotation is speeding up more quickly. We're projected now to be over 90 milliseconds quick on the year, which is up from just over 85 days ago. I've got that chart we showed on the 8th overlane here. Notably, the slowest rotation day was kicked from March to November and is now not as slow as projected. If you recall, this is where we get concerned about the low velocity zone that separates the lithosphere from the asthenosphere mantle transition. And so we go on to our top story today, which hits that topic from the side. Geologic processes upended as subduction drag, once thought to be the total story of plate motion, is shown to be overcome by asthenosphere drag from below. It is moving faster than scientists believe, and FYI its viscosity is modulated by galactic cosmic rays and geomagnetic induction. With our discussion of mantle heaving, plates colliding, crashing, lifting, and falling, this here is the slow motion, long period version of what happens rapidly in the cyclical catastrophe. Couple final notes here. It was very pleasing yesterday to see the connection made by many of you on the planetary version of the NOVA. It's the standard reaction of a space sphere to energetic changes. Yesterday, we went over this macro scale connection for website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We will do it again on our weekly Fly on the Wall podcast coming up later today, also at suspiciousobservers.org. Folks, the PDF version of The Next End of the World, more than slightly related to today's topics, is coming soon. The hard copy is available already at otf.cells.com, along with our solar terrestrial physics textbook and more. Right now, all proceeds from the store are going back into the community, Observer Ranch, the place where our annual meetings and group events can take place. Learn more about where I hope to one day shake your hand at observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.